Hey y'all and welcome to Miner's Market and welcome to my Have Yourself a Merry Little Grinchmas video. This playlist is something that I do on the 20th of every month with my OG group. They are some amazingly talented ladies. We are good friends and we just like to get together once a month and give you a little theme. And this month it was my turn to pick the theme and I picked the Grinch. HTV Rot was kind enough to send me a couple of products to try out and if you are not following them on Instagram or using their products you are missing out they are amazing and I am so tickled that they sent me a couple of products to review for you the first thing I'm going to review is their printer sticker paper printable sticker paper I'm sorry and this is my very first DIY that I'm going to do with it. It comes in this beautiful packaging. There were, I want to say 70 sheets, if I'm not mistaken. And that little envelope that you see right there is a very thick, heavy-duty plastic. Now, why is that important? Because I am forever putting my stuff to the side and not knowing where I put it. Now... This is going to hold up for a long, long time. I don't care if I've got it sitting up on my counter or in a filing cabinet. I'm going to know that that beautiful gold, yellow gold, or whatever you want to call it, marigold, if I, we want to be technical, is easy to spot. Now, I took it out, and what I'm showing you here is there's two sides. There's a shiny side, and there's a dull side. You want to print on the shiny side because that's the sticker side and look at the print my word are you kidding me I was shocked shocked at the quality of that printer paper I've tried so many different printer papers and I've never had one that gave the most vibrant colors like this did now this frame right here I got at Hobby Lobby last year and I want to say I paid a couple of dollars for it. I'm going to show you here in just a second how much I paid for it. But see that little crack right there? It was on clearance because of that little crack, which you're not even going to be able to see. And what did I give for it? $249. And it was regularly $12.99. So, hey, yeah. I wasn't, my feelings wasn't hurt that they was going to give it to me that cheap. So, I grabbed it. Then I took my sticker paper and my beautiful print that I just printed out, and all I had to do was peel it off and place it right on top of that gorgeous frame. Look how easy that was. You cannot get any easier than that, and I am tickled to death that it turned out like it did. Now, that was cute, but it was just a little bit too short for the length of that frame which was fine because I wanted to do a little messy bow to put on top of it so what I did is I just went in my stash and I grabbed this that and the other of my ribbons of you know the different colors that would go with my theme today and I just started cutting and I cut and I cut and I cut <laughs> until I got me a bow that I thought was going to be cute to add to the top of my picture now when you do a messy bow all you want to do is crisscross your bows just random mod podge of whatever you got now I wanted to add to me a little bit of that raffia that I just got from Amazon and when I grabbed my first handful I was excited and then I got it on top of it and I thought my word that looks like a farm needs mowing so I took way 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 less and Put it on top of that and it was the perfect little touch to this picture you know the Grinch is sort of whimsically and it's just got a really cute whimsical theme whimsically theme I don't know what the word is but you know what I'm talking about then I took these little beads right here painted one with the scallion by Waverly and then I had these red and white beads that I got from Amazon all of this will be linked in my description box below Put it on the picture and look at that. Tell me down in the comments what you think about that. I'm so excited to hear 
what you think about the way my picture turned out. That printer paper that HTV Ron sent me, oh, honey, you need to get you some, and there will be a link to that down in the description box now. For DIY number two, I'm making this little planner, and I'm doing it with these little things that I got from the Dollar Tree, little pallets, and this little house here, that little thing fell off of because one of the screws on there came loose, and it fell off, which I didn't need it anyway. I had something completely different in mind when I started this. I was going to put the picture that I printed out on the greenhouse that I'm doing, but whenever I got this big old gigantic bow on it, it covered up too much space, so I ended up moving it down to the front, and you're going to see it in a minute, and I'm so glad I did. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my wood glue, hot glue sticks, and I am putting this little frame together, and let me tell you something. When you use that wood glue, hot glue, it is permanent. It is, you might as well be using E6000 or something, because that stuff holds wood like a dream. Then I took my white Waverly chalk paint. And I went to town, and I painted, and I painted, and I painted. And guess what I didn't do, y'all? I didn't distress one single thing in this video today. Can you believe it? I know. All I do is distress, distress, distress. But it didn't work with this theme today. And I thought it turned out cute. Every single one of them that I'm going to do for you, I just love it. So anyway, after I got my... um little crate box done I took a hand sander and sort of went over those two little holes right there and I don't know if you saw me but I filled them in with a little bit of hot glue and sanded it down then I took that scallion and I painted it on well I must have painted three or four coats and I could still see the writing on the other side and I said my lord I ain't never gonna get through painting this thing thick enough so I grabbed me some white which is what I should have done to begin with and I gave it a really good coat of that white Waverly chalk paint and that was all I needed to do look at how cute it turned out once I got the right background then I'm trying to make me a bow and you know I am not a bow maker now my messy bows turn out kind of cute because they're easy and anybody can do them but a bow bow huh I can't do them. So anyway, I'm just taking this red burlap ribbon that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And this little green polka dot ribbon, I want to say came from maybe Walmart last year. I honestly don't remember. It was in my stash, and I just don't remember where I got it. But it shouldn't be hard to find anywhere. It's just sort of, um, it's just easy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, it's not something that you would have to go looking for very hard. So anyway... I made myself a little bow, and I printed out another smaller version of that same picture that we did just a few minutes ago for my actual picture that I put in the frame. And then once I got it, I put it right on the front of that little crate. And now what I did, well, I had to go back, and uh, my idea in my head was it's not going to matter if the white shows on the edge because the thing's painted white. But it was way too big anyway. So anyway, I cut it down. And you see me cutting those slats because it's a crate. You don't want it to be a solid picture going across those crates. So what I did, I just took the tip end of my scissors and cut across that and filled it up with a little bit of greenery. And look how cute that little planter is. I love the way it turned out. Now that bow is a hot mess. And I ain't got nothing to say else about that bow because I ain't feeling it. But, I mean, it is what it is. And I didn't have enough ribbon left over to do another little messy bow. That would have been the perfect, perfect bow to put on it. But I just didn't have enough of the same kind of ribbon. But anyway, it's not that bad. It's kind of cute. Now, let's get into my DIY number three. This is one of those little crates that you can get at the Dollar Tree, and it's just a little book snack, but look what I found at Walmart when I was shopping. I found Grinch Kisses. Now, that ain't got nothing to do with this video. However, I ate and I snacked on me some Hershey Kisses the whole time I was making this video, but they were so cute and went with my theme. I just had to show you the bottoms 
of these little Hershey Kisses and then the tops. It makes it look like a little Santa hat on the top and then the Grinch face on the bottom. And some of them had some little sayings, Merry Grinchmas and things like that. And they were just too cute not to show you and share with you. So anyway, I took this box and I took the little sticker off. And once I got the little sticker off, I got this napkin here that I know for a fact I got those at Walmart and when I seen them I had a fit it was the only one I found and it was actually in the shoe section somebody had thrown them down in the shoe section well when I seen it I thought there must be more of this somewhere so I looked all over the store and I couldn't find anything else with that particular Grinch theme I guess they had already sold out of whatever else they had Anyway, I took my napkin and I took the bottom ply off. I put it where I wanted it and cut it down to size. And then I took me some white Waverly chalk paint. And did I tell you I painted my box white? I think I skipped that part. I don't know. I, I might not. Have, I might have told you I painted it white, but I don't remember telling you. But anyway, I painted it with white Waverly chalk paint. Then I took my napkin. I put me some Mod Podge down and I put my napkin down and then I took my hand sander and I went all around the edges and got it really good and smooth and beautiful. And then I just took my fingernail and went across the very front, you know, the same thing like I did on the second DIY. And you just want to make those little creases in that little thing, right? See what, how I'm doing it right there? And it just brings it all together. And I thought that was just too cute the way that turned out, but it needed a bow. And it said, let it snow on there. And I didn't really like the saying. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I grabbed some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree that had blue sunflowers on it. Well, I just didn't want to go with blue with this because red and green was what every, you know, all of the other ones were. So I looked at this and I did number one I didn't like the way it looked on there and number two it didn't match anything that else else I, I was doing so I went ahead and went with the red and I covered up that let it snow put the little red on there then I got my green polka dots and I put it on there and I made me a little bow and I also added some of that tubing that I have fallen in love with the past few videos and added a little bit on there with some sprigs of I guess it's just like a Christmas tree sprig but you know it's artificial of course and added a couple of things like that on there and that's all there was to making this little crate and I'm still fighting with that bow ain't I but anyway oh yeah I took the um one of those pieces and folded it over a couple times to go around the middle of my bow to give my bow a really pretty finished look but then I had these cute little whimsically balls, pom-poms is what they're called. And they have these little cute sprigly things. You'll see it in a minute. Look at there. See it? Isn't that adorable? And I thought it was perfect for this theme. And I just put it right in the middle and added me a couple of little sprigs of, you know, that little greenery. I think, I don't care what it is, whether you're decorating your house even a present or a candle, a simple candle in a glass jar, if you just put a little bit of twine around it and add a little bit of sprig right here at Christmas time, it brings that up 10 notches. And I love the way this turned out. It's just so stinking cute. And it takes away from all of that blue. And there's not so much blue there. And look at the Grinch. He's, I, look, I'm a huge Grinch fan. I love me some Grinch. So I was excited when it was my turn and it was this close to Christmas and I got to pick the Grinch theme. So anyway, that's how my little book stack thing turned out. I think it's just as cute as it can be and it matches my other two little things. And now I'm going to show you my last DIY. You know, if you've ever been to my channel before, I love a good beaded garland. Now, when I went to go in and get my beads, I forgot I had these little address label things. 
I bet I got 200 of them doggone things from Amazon, but you know, it's such a good deal. It's such a good deal, and it's actually in my Amazon store link below if you need any of those little label holders. Um, but anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I separated them, put them in a bag, and got out what I needed as far as my little beads went. Then, oh, I'm just cleaning up here. I don't know why I didn't cut that out. I'm sorry. But then I took me some red, the 20 millimeter beads and I put them on my stick because y'all know when I'm making a beaded garland, I love painting my beads like that. And I went in with that scallion. That scallion is the perfect lime green color. And I painted all of the, uh, the 20 millimeter beads in that scallion. Well, once I did that and I let it dry, I went to making my little beaded garland. And all I did was tie it off one end and I did blue. I'm sorry, not blue. I got my mind on blue still. I did green, red, green, white, like that. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, ain't I? I had this little heart. You know, you can get them from the Dollar Tree year round. And I thought that was super cute, too. So I went ahead and grabbed it and painted it with that scallion. And once I got it painted and it dried, I had these little name tags. Now, these name tags came from Walmart, and it's the kind that you would put on a present. I want to say it had eight different... No, it was four different ones. There were eight total, but four different designs. And I went ahead and I picked one that I thought would be cute on the top of that heart and I added it to it and now I'm I know I'm talking about something that I'm not showing you but I already told you how I threaded this thing anyway once I picked out what I wanted to put on the heart I glued it down with some Mod Podge and then I took my little hand sander and I sanded it down and you know, gave it a smooth finish. Well, that was cute and everything, but I go back in there, it just was missing something. So I thought about, you know what? Let me try doing a um, just a little some little polka dots. Well, the polka dots just looked too uniform, so I thought, well, let me just do dot 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 dots all over and make it look like a kind of like a little snowfall, basically, is what I was trying to do. And I love the way it turned out. Then I made me a little finger bow. I made that a minute ago and when I was talking, but made me a little, I mean, not a finger bow, my word. See, I'm getting ahead of myself and I'm messing up. I made me a tassel for the end and I added a little bit of that green um, ribbon, but it just, it didn't work because it was the wrong color green. So I ended up taking it off and then I tied my tassel to one end and I tied my heart to the other end and I want you to look how cute that turned out. I think it is just adorable. I can't wait to hear what you think about it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about it and I hope you like it. I know I love it. I hope you've enjoyed this whole video today. I had a blast doing it for you. Now let me show you my final reveal. This is just a look back at all of the things that I made for you today that are all things Grinch and I think it's as cute as it can be. I know one of my daughters is a big Grinch fan like I am so I'll probably end up giving her all of these things or maybe donate them to like a children's hospital or something. I don't know. I know I don't have room to keep them anymore but anyway thank you so much for coming. There is a playlist that will be listed below and all of us that joined in this month have made Grinch-related DIYs for you. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. What's today's date? The 20th. I will see you again on the 25th. So, I will not have my regular Tuesday night video because I've got so many videos back-to-back. -back. One on the 19th, one on the 20th, and one on the 25th. So I'm skipping the 22nd. So I hope that's okay with you guys. And I really hope you have a blessed Thanksgiving and a happy or a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all that other good stuff. I'll definitely be talking to you before then. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Bye now.